yeah. Star and the Five of Pentacles. All right, so what's going on? What's going on with the collector? What do they need to know? What's going on with the collective? Man. Devil. Queen of Wands in reverse. What's up her butt? Okay. All right. Sorry, I decided to wash my car, so don't mind. It's part of my Superman shirt. All right. So, what is going on? Somebody is really, really, really nasty. 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 Naughty. Nasty. Naughty. Dirty. <laughs> Unless you're talking about me just washing my car. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on with this? We got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so what is this about? Six of Swords. Somebody's got the hots for another person. Somebody's got the hots for another person. They want to come to see somebody and they are, somebody could actually be even going on a date. Somebody could be going on a date. I got some block, so. It's a some block, whatever. <laughs> it's a big date. Somebody's going on a big date. <sighs> That's what this is. All right, hang, hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. Somebody younger, somebody older. I think I got this within the last couple of days for another one of the Zodiacs. Who was it? I don't remember. Drop in the comments if anyone remembers what zodiac sign that was for. Oh. I can't think. Somebody has, okay. It's like an agenda, but it's not necessarily an agenda. All right. There's two people here. And there's definitely an age difference or a maturity level. All right. Uh, so what's... One person doesn't know that the other person feels a certain way. Okay. They don't know. It feels like it's the older person. They don't know that the younger person or whoever this person is, this, you know, that they don't, they don't know. They don't know. Somebody's coming to see another person. It's a very, it's a very strong, who did I have this for? It's a very strong attraction. It's incredibly strong. Can't tell me about these two two people. Tell me about the tell me about this one first. Tell me about give me more information on who this is, this Knight of Wands, please. Ten of Wands, give me some more. This person does um <clears throat> Have the Knight of Wands, and you have the Ten of Wands, and then you have the Hermit in Reverse. The, whoever this is, they they pick people. I don't think they know what they want, and they pick something like right at the time. Does that make sense? But 
I, I, I have, I'm having a hard time articulating this. They, they choose people How can I say this? It's like they, okay, they, because I'm trying not to make them sound all that bad, because I don't necessarily think that they're all that bad. They don't know what they want. They don't really know what they like. They're very confused. So it's like when they see this one, they might like have a lot of attractions for a lot of different people. So they see this one, they see that one, they see this one. And they, you know, there's just too much. It's just too much. That's what it is. If I can figure out a better a better way to explain it. They get they develop attractions very quickly. Give me some more on this. I'm gonna have to go back into this because I'm getting something about getting lucky. <laughs> so all right, tell me, tell me about who this Queen of Swords is because something about this. So why it's so hard to kind of dig into this, I think I'm going to have to grab another deck because whoever this person is, it's very, very hidden beneath the surface. This is a part of their personality that's incredibly deep and very, very hidden. So we're going to have to really crack into the subconscious of this person. So bear with me. Let me find out about this Queen of Swords. Give me some more information on the identity of this Queen of Swords here. person they're, they're kind of like innocent for being a queen of swords they're kind of innocent yeah they're kind of innocent they're smart they may actually know what's going on but they try to see the best in other people so this could be somebody who maybe tends to go against their intuition sometimes they're just like you know could it be this we uh so whoever this person is they're they they they're they're generally in two minds a lot of times so they're just like, did I see that? Well, you yeah, know, well, I think, you know, and I think they have a hard time. They need to just figure out that, you know, whatever it is that kind of goes to their mind, just kind of stick with that. That's what it is. So if you think this person likes you, that's what it is. Okay. And I think that this person probably tries to be innocent. They try to be nice. They try to be kind. They pr probably just like, you know, don't really pay too much attention to a lot of things. They're like, you know, this person's just a friend or, you know, you ever have that where, you know, you know something about a particular person and then when you ask them about it or something like that, or you say something to them, they say the exact opposite of what you already know. Okay. So it's like, People do things to like gaslight this person. So it makes them kind of figure or think that maybe they're, it makes them not want to trust their intuition. I feel like this person's kind of getting out of that, getting out of that two minds with it. But they're still like, they still look at people through very innocent eyes. Does that make sense? All right. This person maybe has, I mean, ADHD is kind of coming to mind. You know, this could be talking about, you know, medications, you know, it's like two different things. And, you know, even, even how this queen is kind of sitting here, if you look at her in this picture, you know, she looks a little bit distracted. She's just kind of like, you know, looking at things, you know, you're the daydreamer, you know, even though the queen of swords generally for me, isn't necessarily a daydreamer, you know, well, I guess you could say so. She's always in the mind, you know, so that's what this is. Okay. That's what I'm reading off of whoever this person is. You know, they're, they're just kind of like, they, they go through life, you know, seeing life a certain way. They're highly intelligent. They're probably very articulate, very good at speaking. Um, but they have a very, a certain innocence about them. Here's the best way I can describe it. Okay. I can use myself as an example. If people flirt with me, I don't know that they're flirting with me. And the funniest part about it is, here's, here's what's even funnier. When I'm actually flirting with people, people have no idea I'm flirting with them. It's always this hit or miss. So it's like some, whoever this person is, they tend to be oblivious about certain things. Where it's like, you know, when people talk in code, you know, I don't, I don't buy into a lot of that stuff. So you have people that, you know, will say, um, they'll say a certain word, you know, it's like, like, it, I didn't even realize, like, so, like, people say, you know, let's Netflix and chill, you know. 
Well, once upon a time, I didn't know that that's what that, what that meant. <laughs> I thought that meant, hey, come over and watch movies, hang out. <laughs> you know? That's the mentality of whoever this person is. I gotta dig more into whoever this is. I'm gonna grab this deck because this, there's that devil, look, that devil just can't help but come out. Got the devil all over this. Okay, so maybe they're not such a good person. I'm just gonna put it that way. Bring more on this person. This person's actually really, really good. They're really, really slick. You got the lovers right here. They're very unsuspecting. Emperor. person is they may have a problem with authority or a problem with being dominant and they're trying to learn to be more mature I think that could be part of it I think that there is an attraction here I don't I keep getting that this person may not be so bad. I keep getting that. But there are certain aspects about them they've made a lot of mistakes. Maybe they weren't sure about certain things. Oh, why am I getting this? You know, sometimes there's people, it, okay, this is interesting. Sometimes people will, maybe they're attracted to certain people, but they, um, they thought they had attractions until they met a particular person. Then they're like, oh, I never, I had no idea I would ever be attracted to someone like that. This is such a weird reading. Now, whoever this person is, they may have a father or a father figure or something that, that's very, very sick. Or maybe something about their, you know, something about, the, you know, authority figures. That's what the, the higher fan. That's what the emperor is for me. Um, and they could be very rebellious. They could be rebellious. They don't, they don't go along with other people. They do something very, very different. They march to the beat of a different drum, per se. Whoever they are, they're very promising. I just feel like they're, they don't know what they want. All right, so what's the hidden meaning in between? Because whatever this is, something is very, very hidden about this. What is, what is the bottom line between this? What is the bottom line of this situation? So we can figure this out. Why is this so complicated? I'm getting something about, I mean, this could be somebody that's very defensive, but it's almost like I'm getting something about standing up for somebody's rights, standing up for somebody's principles. What the hell is this? What is this? My priestess. You both share something very, very similar about each other. Let's just say, you know, you're, you're both going to learn something from each other. Okay. I feel like this person is very unsuspecting. They don't know. I don't necessarily know. I feel like this person actually does have an attraction to whoever this person is. I don't know that it's technically, but then there's the date, a date. That's what it is. There is someone meeting up with another person. 
they're doing it behind somebody's back. So let's say somehow either somebody could be in relationship. Could be. They could be single. Maybe somebody's saying that they're not in relationship. Maybe they're saying that they left another person. I feel like there's still some sort of an attachment there. Or there's something in the way where it's like, you know, we're not supposed to be doing this because we are colleagues. You know, you're a client, you know, or you're a patient. You know, we're not supposed to be doing this. So let's say, let's say this person is, you know, but this one, yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. I'm just going to leave it, leave it with that, you know, as far as if that's, def, that's got to be what it is. So you two share something together. You do something together. And there's somehow, if you two got together, it would actually be frowned upon, okay? Somehow, whether somebody is in a relationship and they're saying that they're not, or they're like, like I said, I'm like, it could be like colleagues or something like that, and it's something it's like you're not supposed to do, all right? And it's something that probably needs to be kind of stay quiet, all right? Now, this could be two people who hang out. I'm going to say it's not anything really even that bad. But it's just you're not supposed to really hang out. You know, period. You know, however that is. That's kind of what I'm getting. But I do feel like this person actually does have an attraction to this person. And this person's just kind of, they're, they're not really, you know, paying attention to it. They're not really, you know, um, whatever. They're, they're a bit innocent with it. Okay. But I think that this person suspects something. They just need to kind of like start. They need to go with their gut the first time. Okay. Um, and I don't think that this person has a problem with, you know, cutting people out or anything like that. But I don't feel like it's, it doesn't feel like it's that kind of energy. So what are these two coming together for? Sun is coming together to hang out. Chariot is coming together to hang out. Okay. Somebody's going to be very, you know, exposed or, you know, I feel like there's going to be a lot of sharing between these two people. Okay. Now, it's like being vulnerable, being open, and it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to like, you know, even though you're both very, very different, it is okay to be open with each other. I don't think that this person technically, I really don't feel like this person, I feel, I feel like this person is just a little bit younger, you know, there's maybe they're a little bit reckless or maybe they just don't know what they want. There's so many things going on. The world kind of like, you know, persuades a lot of different people certain ways and they think they're supposed to do this or think they're supposed to do that. And they may have had times where they've, you know, felt like they've needed to kind of like fit in with other people. They don't know their place in the world or something like that. So I don't necessarily feel like this person is, there you go. I don't necessarily feel like this person is technically a bad person, but they're subjected to devil energy quite a bit. Okay. Who isn't? Who isn't? We all are. <laughs> you know, we just have to be able to make the right choices. And I feel like this person really does. I feel like they have had moments where they've made some, you know, bad decisions but all in all, I feel like they're really a good person. You got the magician in the upright and you have the emperor in the upright. Okay. So, and this person really, really works hard. I feel like they work hard on something. However, this person really, really, I do feel like in some sort of way, whatever this coming together or this hanging out or this connection, whatever it is, I feel like this person could develop feelings for this person if they haven't already. Okay. And it may make them change the way that they do things. Okay. So it's like that, you know, sometimes there's people that are very impressionable, you know. So it may make them remember. This is so complicated to even explain. I can't, it's, I'm having a hard time. I can, I know exactly what it is, but I'm having a hard time articulating it. Okay. 
What is their motive? Six of Wands. You know, lovers, that's their motive. So, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Where I was talking about sometimes people are oblivious to certain things, flirts. And maybe somebody thinks that they're just hanging out when really this person's seeing it as a date. Okay. This person wants to learn more about this person. I feel like they feel very secure. They feel very confident with this person. And there's definitely a very strong attraction to this person. However, you want to define attraction at this point. But it definitely feels like it's very much an attraction. Okay. Something is, there is some sort of a pull bringing these two people together. So what is the bottom line as to why they're coming together? Why are they coming together? Moon. It's an opportunity. The four cups. It's a secret. But it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. This is a good call. This is, is a good decision. And I feel like whoever these two people are, they actually could be getting together for, you know, I mean, you got what? Super, super. Jupiter. Saturn. And um, I, I'm feeling the, the strong emphasis of these planets. And the moon. Okay. So what I'm kind of getting from that is this could even be a development of, you know, certain psychic abilities or something like that or some sort of a, a heightening of senses. All right. This is such an, this is such a weird reading. It's actually starting to drain me because. <laughs> so we'll see what this is. There's two people that are going to be coming together. One person's oblivious, but sweet, smart. Needs to trust their intuition. Another person is, has been surrounded by devil energy. This person may have actually come from something like that because this person over here has healed. Okay, this person has healed. This person may have a long way to go. And that could be why they're coming together too. You know, this person's probably going to learn something from them. Um, somehow, and with that, there could be definitely an attraction. This person definitely has some sort of an attraction to this person. Some kind of an attraction to this person, this person has. Now, here's the thing. The, the key point that I'm getting with this is sometimes we don't know that we are, that people come into our lives. We always think that people come into our lives because it's something that's romantic. Sometimes it isn't. It's like sometimes this is just the, um, this is the assignment. <clears throat> it's the best way I can put it. They're the assignment. They're the next person that you're going to help along the way. Okay. That's it. May not, it may not turn into something that's supposed to be technically romantic or anything like that. And I feel like that's where this person is. They could be very confused. Whereas like, you know, sometimes people don't see the bigger picture. That's probably why this person is of a certain mindset. They're like, you know what? I know, you know, where I am. I know everything about yada, yada, yada with me, blah, blah, blah. You know, I've healed, you know, I, I know, I know when people come into my life that that's why they come into my life for a certain reason. And I'm just going to sit here and wait for the next assignment. That's what this is. And this person is like, you know, they get confused. Sometimes people that, and once upon a time I was like, you know, I thought people that I bumped into it was because it was for something, you know, romantic when I realized, oh, I was supposed to learn a lesson or I was supposed to teach them something or I was, you know, they were supposed to teach me something. Okay. And that's what this is. You know, there's some sort of a reason why these two are coming together. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope everyone makes sense of, the, of whatever this is. Hold on. One, uh, wait. I have a source. There's magician again. It's like, the best way I can describe this, you're both going to learn or help each other in some way. 
and I feel like it is shattering a paradigm. Shattering an idea of what they think they want it or what they think, how they think the world works. You know, it's some kind of a paradigm not realizing certain things. It's almost like something is going to be like an aha moment. And what that's going to do is clear the fog and it's going to create something, you know, it's going to make somebody feel a lot more confident about themselves. That's what that is. Somebody's going to be learning something about themselves and seeing things differently. Even though I don't have the, the, the hangman, but I'm actually seeing a picture of the hangman. It's actually going to be seeing things differently, which is going to help something kind of clear the fog or clear the smoke or the confusion. Okay. It's almost like somebody's going to start to learn how to, you know, learn. It's like things are going to snap. Things are going to click. Like, oh, it's, it's, I can't describe it any other way. It's like an aha moment. You know, it's like, I understand things now. Oh my gosh. It's like this. It's kind of like that. All right. Seeing things differently. No longer needing to do certain things. Understanding things from a different level or different perspective. And it's going to be like, oh, now I get it. Now that, now that wall is being shattered, now I can start manifesting things. It's like that. The confusion, the smoke's going to clear. I'm leaving it there. Oh, gosh, I hope people understand this reading. <laughs> this is really, really a confusing reading. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll put it up and see what people say. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm not, I'm a little, uh, something is really, really, is really, really confusing with this. So I apologize. Bear with me. If you didn't get anything out of it, that's fine. That's fine, too. It is. It is what it is. All right. Um, I'm just like, I'm kind of done with this. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and get started back on Zodiacs again. Anyway, if you like the message or you like the reading or it makes any kind of sense to you, please give me a comment. Let me know what's going on. Interact a little bit because it actually helps, helps my channel grow. All right. Um, but also, you know, I'm definitely curious as if you know what the F this is. However, um, um, yeah, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. That's pretty much it. If you want to book a private reading, personal reading, <laughs> I'm trying not to say the word private because it sounds a little funny. <laughs> if you want to book a personal reading, I do all my readings, my personal readings, through Zoom. So we are on, it's like FaceTime, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a business meeting app. It's very, very simple. It's free to use. Um, we meet on Zoom, and um, that's how I do the reading. One-on-one, face-to-face, -on -one, -face, you, uh, you have my full, complete attention. You know that it's always me. You're not going to be getting scammed by some person who's pretending to be me. It's always going to be me. I do not do readings through, I do not record readings and then send them. We interact. It is an actual reading. Okay. We, um, I don't do text readings. I don't do, you know, email readings. I don't do any of that. I don't do it. I don't like it. I don't do it. I don't like it. It's, I don't, I'm, no, I'm not, I don't do that. Um, we meet face to face. Um, if you want to book a reading, uh, email become the star 1111 at gmail.com. Become the star 1111 at gmail.com. Or you can contact me through Instagram. You can DM me, send me a message. Um, become the star, all lowercase, all one word. That's it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, that's it. Yeah, but send me a message. Let me know what this is. I'm feeling so, this is like so confusing. Anyway, hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much, but hey, I can't help it. You know, these things kind of come in and it's just like, you know, it is what it is, but all right. I'll see you soon. See you on the next one. <laughs>